Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Bookshelves and Beyond. My name is Lacey, hello, hello, hello. Today I've got a video for you all. Obviously, you're watching it. I am doing five books that I think you should read. Now these books aren't necessarily underrated because a lot of them are rated quite highly on Goodreads because that's where I looked anyway. But I think not enough people have read these books. That is my take. If you've read any of these books I'm about to mention then props to you for not sticking with the trends and reading what everyone else is reading. I mean I joke, I kid, my favourite series is called The Thumbs of Roses so I am the problem. But no, these are five books that I genuinely think you should read and this is my honest opinion on these books. A lot of them are by indie authors. I think it, I think it's good to read a variety of authors sometimes. I mean, no one's saying you can't have a favourite. Everyone has a favourite. I love Miss Mass. I love her to pieces and she would definitely be up there in my favourites. Anna Huang, love her, love all her books, amazing, absolutely love everything that she does. I've never not liked a book of hers. But sometimes it's nice to go into a different world and read something else, read a different writing style, you know, read, read something new because if you don't like it then that's fine, you know, you can pat yourself on the back for giving it a go and you can kind of think, you know, at least I've tried it. But I like to think of it like food. How do you know you don't like carrots without trying carrots? Anyway, five books I think you should read. You know, you might not even be into these genres. If you're not, then screw the whole video. But honestly, I think these are some of the best books that I've read that are by people who aren't, aren't trending, aren't, you know, huge, like, you know, not your JK Rowling or your Sarah J Mass or, you know, someone like that. Done rambling, I'm gonna get into the first one. Now, the first book that I'm gonna talk about is a book that I spoke about on a recent video. In fact, it was part of my wrap up for January, because I read it at the beginning of January. And it is Halo Fall of Reach by Eric Nyland. This book was such a surprisingly good book that I just have to mention it first in this video because I went into this thinking that it was just gonna be like playing a Halo video game. I thought that we were just gonna read about a bunch of space fighting and then a, a bunch of like fighting on planets and that was gonna be it. Like typical sci-fi war type stuff. That's all I thought it was gonna be. I didn't really think about very highly of it at all. My partner actually gifted this to me quite a few years ago, I think, because he started playing Halo Infinite and I was watching him play it and I said to him, I absolutely love this story. Fell in love with the story. I don't think I'd ever play it, especially because I know I've like seen him play all of it now, but I absolutely fell in love with the story. And I said to him, you know, this would make a fantastic book. And then he got me this. So I was at first, I was like, oh, I'm never gonna read that. And I had such a negative thought on it, especially because the front cover, no offense to whoever did the front cover. And I know this is old, this is like 2000 old, but it's very old, very, not really appealing front cover to me, especially a girly. You know, this isn't a book I'd usually pick up. It's also small. It's like smaller than a normal book as well, which is a bit odd. He got it for me. I didn't read it for ages. And then I pulled it out of my blind TBR. And oh my goodness, I was so hooked from the beginning. Like from the very first chapter, I could not put this book down. And I was so shocked at how good it was. Like of course there was like fighting in there and some killing and all that sort of thing but there was so much backstory to everything. Like I said in my last video, my, my wrap up video, we learn how John becomes Master Chief which is great in itself but to have that insight, to have almost some information that isn't included in the games in this book is so cool and especially for me because I, I love gaming absolutely love it. I'm really particular when it comes to the games I play and if I don't like it I just I will not try and get into it I just won't touch it. Halo is one of those series series that um, has been around for ages now it, it's been around forever and it's one of those things where because it's so huge I'm not gonna start now and there's no point me starting now. To be able to read the books there's more of these this is just the first one but to be able to read the books i kind of feel like i'm included even though i'm not playing the games so whenever my partner plays them i can kind of 
I'm, I'm involved in a way. And I absolutely loved this. And I honestly think that if you like sci-fi, read this. If you like Halo, read this. If you like video games, read this. If you just like reading something different, please read this. This is so good. And I gave it four stars and it did have quite a lot of reviews on Goodreads. I feel like books like this don't get talked about. Anyway, I'm rambling. This was a fantastic book anyway, and I honestly couldn't recommend this more to anyone. Underrated. Read it. Now, I'm moving on to the second book that I think you genuinely should read. Now, this one is a little bit more popular, and I think it actually got quite a lot of reviews on Goodreads. However, again, I don't really see many people talking about this book, but I do think it's the most popular book that I'm mentioning in this video. So this book is The Cat Who Saved Books by Suzuki Natsukawa. This book is so small, you've got no excuse not to read it, honestly. But it does what it says on the tin. It's about a cat called Tiger. The cat basically saves books. The cat, like, gets help from the son or the grandson of a bookshop owner who, like, works in there and they go through these interesting worlds to be able to try and save books and this is so incredible because there's so many hidden meanings in this book you go to these different worlds and i think there's like three or four different worlds i can't remember off the top of my head i read this last year each one has its own hidden meaning about literature and books and and just it's amazing to just read this and understand what it really is talking about because a lot of the stuff that's in here is actually real problems that we have you know in the publishing industry and in, in, in you know it, it's it's crazy but I absolutely loved this and it's only about 217 pages so really short book I probably read this in a few days you could read it in one sitting if you really wanted to I absolutely loved it it was a five star book for me five stars which is absolutely crazy because if you follow me on goodreads you know i don't really give much five stars five stars i reserve for like top tier or manga because i don't i kind of review manga a bit differently because they're so short so i kind of most of the time just give them five stars but books to be a five star crazy so yeah i gave this five stars and i honestly i mean it's got a cat on the front so if you like cats and you like books and you like cats saving books then read this book and it's got a pretty front cover anyway so next book is not for the faint of heart is that the same faint of heart i think so it's not for those types of people anyway because this is a horror book or at least it was in the horror section it's genuinely not a scary book at all it's more of a taking the piss out of horror and I have loved this man's work forever and he is so funny it's crazy and it's almost criminal that not enough people know about him like it it sickens me that he isn't more popular than he should be if you know what I mean so it's Garth Meringi's Terror Tome he just bought out a new one which I haven't read yet but Garth Meringi's Terror Tome oh I just hit myself in the face Garth Meringi's Terror Tome is incredible so it's actually written by a a guy called matthew holness but he goes by the name garth marini because that's almost like his character garth marini is a horror writer and he writes books but he also did garth marini's dark place which was a tv program that aired on channel 4 i think quite a while ago now that series is one of my favourite TV programmes of all time and I hate watching TV so that says a lot. It was so incredibly funny. It's one of those programmes that's made to look bad on purpose. So it was a horror program and it had like supernatural elements and stuff to it but it was the little things that were just so funny so the actors were supposed to be bad in the programme so sometimes they'd look at the camera and that was hilarious and there was a scene where there was like a floating iron and you could see the string on it and it, honestly absolutely crazy matt berry is also in it and his character's lines are like all dubbed over the top of himself so you can see that his mouth is moving at a different time and it, it's absolutely hilarious 
it's so so incredibly good and this honestly was so so incredibly good i would have been disappointed if this was anything shy of amazing because of how good dark place was but this really swallowed up dark place vibes and put it into a book so this is basically about, about a writer a horror writer called nick steen and his like his typewriter comes to life and stuff like that and some of his creations in his books come to life as well so a little bit alan wake but not alan wake and it's really good it's really funny if you don't have a sense of humor don't read this don't waste your time reading this if you don't have a sense of humor it's so funny and it's so random that this is just such a really fun book to read i can't wait to read the second one if i'm completely honest with you i'm so excited to read it and i just honestly i couldn't recommend this more i rate this four stars on goodreads and this did have some pretty high reviews on there but again not enough people have read it if you've got a dark sense of humor and love absolutely random stuff happening and some of this is explicit as well then read this book so fourth book that i am going to mention in this video is a book that i had the pleasure of being an arc reader for and it's blood of my heart by kp birchfield so i managed to very kindly i was a, um selected as an arc reader for it hence why i've got it on my kindle i absolutely loved this book it was so good and it was so incredibly polished for the type of book and type of author that it was like nothing against kb birchfield i think they are incredible but they i've never seen their work before and i think that i'm not sure if that's their debut novel i'm not too sure so i'm not going to say that because i can't i don't know but it was just so good and so incredibly polished the writing was so just it was very satisfying to read this book and i know that's a weird way of describing a writing style to be satisfying i know that's odd but i absolutely loved it i gave this four stars on goodreads this is the first book of the book of the death god series so there's going to be more i don't know when the next one comes out i am so excited very unique magic system which i loved and the world building was just it was so good it was like i can picture the whole thing in my brain like i can still picture it now and i read this last year so it was a good book and again i feel like not enough people were talking about it after i read it i didn't see anyone else read it when it officially came out and that upsets me a little bit because it was a really good book like i say i rated it four stars i couldn't put it down the whole time i read it in like the space of two days probably so that's really good because I am actually quite a slow reader. Despite what my good reads implies, I am actually a slow reader. I just read a lot of the time. And I also listen to a lot of audiobooks. So that helps keeping the reading count up. I recommend it so much. I believe it's on Kindle Unlimited as well. So if you have a Kindle and or you've got Kindle Unlimited, you've honestly got no reason not to read it. So you heard it here folks you heard it here first folks that's what i meant to say you heard it here first folks read it it was a great book honestly i loved it now my final book for this video and although it's last it's certainly not least this is tales of earth and leaves by zandra noel and i actually got a physical copy of this i bought this off tiktok shop because she sells her books on there and she also they're also on amazon as well i think this is on kindle unlimited again so if you've got Kendo Unlimited, you can go check this out. Amazing book. So it's Tales of Earth and Leaves, there's fate, fate in this, and the Fae world is just so amazing. I loved it. It was so good. And you know what? For once, we had a nice guy as the main love interest. All these romantic books always have really grumpy, moody guys who by the end of the book turn out to be a really nice person because they're falling in love with the main character. For once, we have a guy who was nice from the start. Honestly, I loved this book. I got a little note when I bought it, which was so sweet. And I just signed it as well. I, I absolutely loved this book. So I believe the series is finished. 
So it's a whole series. I haven't read any of the rest of the series yet. There is a separate series that unfortunately I can't actually remember the name of. I think it's called Realm of Wind or something, the series. But there's a separate one. First book is called Chained. Also go read that. Also by Zandra Noel. That was really good. And I can't wait for her next book to come out as well. Hopefully that will be in a future wrap up video. You never know. Watch this space. Watch this space. But honestly, I absolutely loved this book. And again, it's indie author. And I think, I think someone needs to pick Zandra up because these books that she's putting out are honestly so incredibly good and they're not short they're like a decent length and they're very juicy and they've got great plots in there as well so that's another underrated book that i genuinely think that people should read i honestly honestly recommend that book so that is all five books that i recommend most to people i recommend for you to read obviously if you like these genres if you don't like any of these genres then i'm sorry but i can't help you so but no i am um, these books i really really love with all my heart and by no means are these my favorite books like these are up there they're definitely up there but these are underrated underread and underappreciated books that i really really think people should get behind Especially like ones that I feel like people who enjoy series like A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is such a popular series, people like that would love this. But I feel like a lot of people now, this is no, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but I was like this when I started reading about two, three years ago. When I started reading about two, three years ago, I would only read very very popular books with very very good ratings and that's why i read a court of thorns and roses first and although i absolutely love the series and i did you know five star it favorite series ever got a tattoo of it i only read it because it was popular at the time and i didn't pick it up because it appealed to me the most and it just happened to be that i loved it I feel like that that was my problem and I'm really trying to make it a goal to read whatever the hell I want and I'm really trying to make it a goal to also support people who don't get some of the praise that they should for their work. I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video it's something a little bit different from what I usually do and I'm hoping that you guys like this format going forward I'm hoping to do some random videos like this in the future maybe I'll do five overrated books maybe I'll do something like that because I do have a few books that I have read that I think are incredibly overrated also make sure that you follow me on my social media it's always included here I mention this every video but I have more content especially on my Instagram that you guys might want to check out so if you like following bookstagrams go and check that out also comment below if you have read any of these or if you're going to try out any of these i'd love to know if you guys are going to take my recommendations and pick any of these up and if you'll do if you do let me know what you think of them after you've read them do you hate them do you love them if you hate them i would love to know either way because it's just great being able to share our opinions on books and i think it's great that i could love a book and you could also hate it so you know go ahead put your comments down below and i love hearing from you guys and i hope you guys have a wonderful week and a wonderful rest of your weekend and as always i will see you next sunday bye